Hey guys, welcome back and this week we're going to be working on a bit of a swipe pour I chose to do because uh, for myself I really enjoy these kinds of pours, finding that it's always kind of a hit and miss game with how things may turn out. And I guess first off we're going to be working with a bit of ivory black which for me is maybe my favorite black of all. I really enjoy how this color works well with every other color and blends very well. Also how it finishes when it dries and cures, I think this is one of the best blocks for me as a preference that I may use uh, for most of my pores. And if you guys are curious for what I may use in my pores for the sake of swipes, this week I'm going for uh, some cells and some lacing looks as well. So I've added about one ounce of Floetrol to my acrylic paint as well as about two and a half to three ounces of pouring medium. So. Um, that's how I concoct my, my paints to help the, the cell creation and the effects with my cell activator later on. Okay, and this week I'm actually using two colors I have never ever used before. This is the, the first, the metallic bronze, which I thought was kind of an odd looking color when I first began to mix it. But as I got it onto the canvas, I thought it was very pretty and very... Um, a lot different than what I've used before. It's kind of dull, has a bit of a sheen to it, but didn't blow me out of the water off the bat, but uh, we'll have to see how this goes later on with my second choice. Okay, now with this color, this is actually the metallic cobalt blue, which in comparison to my uh, my copper I'd used, sorry, the, uh, the bronze, I think is maybe one of the nicest colors I have ever mixed. In my whole life um, I love it I think this may be a go-to for me with metallics moving forward and I found that it mixed well I added a little bit of flow trial maybe half an ounce to the color to help it um, move through the bronze and the black knowing there is such dark color and wanting some good cell effects with what I had but really this color was quite quite pretty and I will definitely be using this one in the future Now a bit of a torch to help uh, just pop any air bubbles in my paint to avoid any kind of small little pinholes drying later on when I'm all done my pour. And here we go with my cell activator being the Amsterdam White uh, Titanium with a bit of Floetrol and Penetrol to help make those cells and lacing. Later on I found this uh, mixture for me works very well. It is about one ounce, or about a third of an ounce of paint to two thirds Floetrol and about two drops of Penetrol, which helps to make that nice lacing effect once we get through the, uh, the swipe. Okay, now I choose to use a shelf liner for my swipe tool. Uh, when I go for swipes, because I find it's easy to control in comparison to some other tools I used before, like any kind of small cards or cardboard or saran wrap, this simply allows me to maintain control over the entire canvas with equal distribution, which I found to be very important when swiping through um, this much color. Now, after my swipe, I found that this is always maybe one of the most favorite parts of the pour for me on a swipe is how it reacts almost immediately with the cell activator with the acrylic paint with my flow trawl. It makes some really nice lacing plus some cells at the top there in my cobalt blue, which I'll tilt around in a bit here. But um, right now I'm just looking to figure out where the paint is on the canvas and decide which way to eventually tilt up or down to make sure I've got the most coverage back and forth, making a nice pattern. Okay, at this point I've got a pretty good feeling of where the paint is on my canvas and where it may go once I begin to tilt. And I do have a quick question for you guys. If you use metallics, do you have a specific one or two or three favorite metallics you may use? Um, and what brand are they? And what color? I'm very curious. I love this blue. This will be in my, my tool belt for pouring going forward. Definitely going forward. Um, and as I begin to tilt off, I want to keep as much blue at the bottom there as I possibly can. Again, knowing there's plenty of black under that color to tilt towards us as we look at here. I'm also really happy with how these colors blend together and the lacing and cells it has made. I think that this might be one of my favorite swipes I've done in quite some time. 
And as I was trying to tilt out the black down towards the uh, the middle, I was looking at this going, it looked to me like it was creating snake scales or dragon scales, kind of with this really bright shimmer, which I found very cool. No, um, I think I may work more with metallics going forward as a bit of an experiment to see what kinds of colors I can get to blend well with one another and ultimately find a cool color choice that complements each other to make a nice swipe. And to be honest, it's about learning as well. We find that I think we get stuck in trying to make this perfect pour every time, knowing we have very little control over what we're doing. And um, really we want to have fun with what we're doing. And this was a fun one. I enjoyed this pour. Um, I think that trying new things and being creative is a part of the process. And I really am glad that I gave this a shot, not knowing what would happen based on my color choices. Now, if you have gotten this far in the video, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind clicking that like button to help this video spread to more people who may enjoy the video and this kind of content, um, again, I would support, I, I, I would appreciate it. Now, as an attempt with brand new colors for me, what do you guys think on how this pour turned out? Uh, would you have tried a different type of pour, a different technique? What metallics would you have used instead? I'd love to hear your comments below as some feedback to me on how this one turned out. And again, I'm quite happy with the metallics I chose being the cobalt and the bronze, along with my go-to ivory black. I think this pour was, was a success. And um, like I mentioned, the, the dragon scales it made are look very cool. And I think this may be one of my favorite pours I've done in quite some time. Now moving into a bit of an overhead shot of the pour. Um, here is my bit of a flyby over the top and you can see how neat these cells and lacing effects kind of turned out. I think that that copper, sorry bronze, with the blue look really great. There's some really visible contrast that you can't see from the top that looks really neat. That black bleeding into uh, the bronze and the blue look fantastic. I am thrilled with how this turned out. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed this video, uh, please consider clicking this next playlist of some of my most favorite pours I've ever done. Um, thanks again, guys, and we will see you again in the next one.